Hey Taurus, welcome to your monthly reading for January 2022. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. Happy New Year's to you. Okay, so the way that the monthly readings work is I pull out three cards for general over energy, three cards for love and romance, and three cards for career and finances. So let's see. I hope you click subscribe and become a part of our community. All right, mind on your money, money on your mind. Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands. General overall energy, let's see, Justice. Ooh, kind of like this. The Five of Wands, I don't do reversals, by the way. And the World, woo, woo. Okay. You are done fighting a battle that is no longer serving you. I feel like that was the right way to do it. I was like so hot in my house, I opened up all the windows and turned off the heat and guess what? Now I'm cold. <laughs> okay, nine of wands, eight of swords at the bottom. But it's reverse and I'm, well no, it's not reverse. Nine of wands, eight of swords, what is happening here? I think you're done being stuck. I think you're done feeling bound and limited. You know, this, I feel like 2022, especially with like the partnership, the numerology, the working together, the collaborative energy that I'm picking up on anyways, I feel like you're, you're, you're fighting for your freedom or you're fighting for being able to no longer be held back. And you know, with what's been going on in the world right now, it has felt like that, right? It's felt like our freedoms have been taken away and you're like, no more. I'm finding the way I'm freeing myself however I can acceptance I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change that's your mantra card let's get your astrology card we'll do love at the end okay Taurus north node destiny and challenges okay some of you may be a Taurus north node as well hi if you are I am lots of changes we're going through we're going through Okay, um, four of pentacles, page of pentacles, and the two of wands. I think money is going to be on your mind big time. I think you're going to be thinking about how to create that financial stability, that abundance that you desire. Um, you know, material wealth, you like the finer things in life, you're Venetian ruled, okay? Um, money, abundance, luxury. And so I think that that's going to be what you're looking at. You're going to be really focused on being stable. I see you budgeting a lot. I also see you thinking about, you know, how can I expand my abundance? How can I expand my money? Cryptocurrency, that kind of stuff. Um, page of Pentacles here, new opportunities. Definitely, I feel too that you may be learning and researching and um, understanding what are different ways that you can make your money work for you so that you're not just continuously in this rat wheel. With the two of wands, I also do see some of you actually uh, progressing forward, either moving for a career, looking for a career elsewhere, or making a plan, maybe even to buy an investment property somewhere else because of this world justice situation here. I, I feel that you have decided to walk into January 2022 being very focused and methodical and logical about how you are going to make your life this beautiful environment that you've always wanted it to be with justice the five of wands and the world here in the uh, general overall energy this is karma this is the universe balancing itself out this could also have to do with the north node right the north node is our destiny it's our challenges the north node wherever your north node is it's what is the most difficult but what also brings the biggest rewards I'll give you an example. I Where my North Node is um, in astrology, my lessons are that routine, structure, stability, and, you know, kind of like having some type of organization brings me a lot of abundance. If I stay structured, routine, if I have a plan, if I'm disciplined, I, I can be very wealthy. Guess what's really hard for me to do? stick to a routine, stick to a plan, have like, you know, organization because I'm very, my, my Piscean energy very much wants me to do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. 
So do you see how it is what brings the most rewards, but it's also the most difficult. And I think that this is a lesson you're going to be learning in January. Whatever your North Node is, if you want to drop it, put it in the in the comments below. Maybe people can chime in and help each other out. Um, whatever that North Node is for you, discipline, structure, routine, sticking to your destiny, right? What you're what you came to Earth to learn will also give you the best the best gifts ever. So why wouldn't you? In Spanish, we say like empujarte or ponerle el, el empeño, which empeño is like put in the effort and do it. Because you might be fighting it a little bit here with that five of wands, but baby, it'll give you the world. The world is your oyster. So why wouldn't you, right? Why wouldn't you go after it and try and do something a little bit different um, and, and, you know, manifest exactly what it is that you desire in your life? It's like limitless, endless opportunities here for you um, if you put in the effort, okay? Now, let's go on to your love reading. If you want to book a live one hour reading with me, please know that January is the last month that I'm doing them. So take a look at the description box below to see if there's any availability left. And if you want to enroll in any of my courses or workshops, I have two going. The first one is a tarot intensive. I'm teaching you all how to use tarot for business, for love, for life. If you want to start your own tarot business, if you uh, want to use tarot for strategy, whatever it is, take a look at the description box below to enroll in my intensive live and interactive course. You get to meet me it's a lot of fun i posted one before and it was a huge success so i would love to see you there tarot is a great tool that can help us in so many ways if you are interested in radically transforming your life which it looks like you kind of are right if you want to step into your true soul purpose step into your power stand in your truth speak your truth and just align with all of this beautiful power that you have within you so that you can radically transform your life take a look at the description box below and sign up for the align course you get weekly coaching sessions with me, a live one hour class with your classmates, pre-recorded videos, weekly worksheets. I'm basically teaching you everything that I did through the light laws, which I learned to embody, which I'm passing on to you in this teaching uh, so that I could um, manifest this beautiful life that I have now. And I want to teach you that. And I started off, if you've been with me from the very beginning, I started off reading at my mom's house. My son, our German Shepherd and I, we didn't have Raven yet used to live in my childhood bedroom, which was this tiny little bedroom. Um, I was a single mom. I was in a shit ton of debt. And fuck, now two years later, living the life of my dreams. And I would love to pass that on to you. So take a look at the description box below if that's something that you're interested in. For crystals to help you out, if you're into crystals. Um, hmm. I want to turn around and say... Why are you looking at me like Sorry. You can't see. Do not. You're such a... She just looked at me like... Anyways, I love Raven. Um, definitely, I would say like rose quartz, morganite barrel, or think about things that would help you with your self-confidence and your self-worth because of what's going on here. So this is a piece called Venus named after the planet that you're ruled by, uh, Taurus. Or another piece actually would be this one, Ishel. It transmutes negative vibes into positivity, luck, hope, abundance. It's a very, very lucky piece. There's also one called Bridget, actually, that I would recommend as well. It helps you to align with your true soul purpose. So that would be another piece as well. Okay, all that stuff's in the description box below. Let's get on to the slowly reading. If you're single, I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't look like a month where you're really focused on love because you're busy focusing on loving yourself, okay? Um, I feel that you're getting your money right here. You're showing up, Taurus, in this energy. You're focusing on your business. It, you know what it makes me feel? It makes me feel like in January, you're like, I am a fucking boss, regardless of your gender. And you're deciding what you want your empire to look like so that when you find your partner, that partner's in alignment with you, right? There's not an imbalance. And then keep an open mind, the seven of pentacles. Yeah. And I'm also going to tell you something, Taurus. This is specific for those of you that are single. The more that you focus on your career and your finances, the more that you focus on your abundance, the more that you focus on your future, your money, your life, etc., the faster, the faster that love will come to you. Absolutely. If you are in a relationship, ma'am, 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 excuse me, ma'am, that you don't need that. Don't eat that, please. What did I say to you? What did I say to you? I said, don't eat it. 
if you are in a relationship, it might be a male male relationship. Like it might be a LGBTQ for some of you. For others of you, you actually might have multiple partners. Maybe what is that? Polyagamous? Poly? Poly? I don't know how to say that word. Where you have like more than one partner or an open relationship. Um, I'm just really what I'm seeing here is to have patience if you're in a relationship right now to have patience to understand like what the foundations of your connection are keep your mind on that focus on that and everything else will fall into place but I really feel like regardless of your situation romantically or otherwise uh, this is a, a month where you're focusing on your career success, where you're focusing on your abundance, where you're focusing on your money, where you're focused, like it's you. It's all about you, okay? It's all about you having access to the fucking world and being able to like design it in a way where just like, you're like Aphrodite, you just attract, you don't have to work, it's effortless. I think I've used the word effort a lot for a bit for a minute now, right? Like it's effortless. It's actually very beautiful energy. So I would definitely say to embody this and align with this because it will bring you a lot of happiness. All right. Okay. So if you want to book, shop, enroll, whatever, uh, even if you just click subscribe and like, so grateful for you. Thank you so much for everything. I'm so excited to see what 2022 has in store for us. Take a look at the description box below for anything else that you're looking for. And we'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.